Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Well, game two of this matchup is set to go down tonight. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. That's intercepted. Knocked away with the stick by Sanderson. Along the half wall with the puck. Stopped by Olmark. Coaches are always saying you got to give it your all, and this goaltender, well, he's going at it with full force and his full head. This one hits his mask, and he gets a jolt. Feeds the puck across to Severson. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. He fires it on net. Stops that one. Nice feed from the right wing. Takes the pass from the left wing. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. This is it over. Oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Along the wing up the neutral zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Quick pass to Provorov. Columbus has the puck. The Blue Jackets play it along the wing. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Yurichek. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Provorov's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Columbus looks to move the puck from their own end. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. From the point, they take control of it. Turns it aside with the glove. The Blue Jackets pick up steam and are on the attack. Nice zone entry on the left side. Greg's got him in the offensive zone. And a big time save on a big time shot. Oh, and another save. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Corrales won the draw here in their own zone. Takes it across the blue line. Puts it on in. That's blocked. Right in the low spot. Oh, what a stop by Omar. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Blue Jackets take possession here inside the offensive zone. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves behind the net. And that one's turned away. Scooped up along the wall by Hamannick. Fires it into the offensive zone. Can't keep a hold of it. And that's blocked. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Harris. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Gregor. Feeds the puck across to Harris. Pass to Corrali. Down the right side and into the zone. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. The Senators get a hold of the puck along the boards. And they manage to clear it. Columbus gains a hold of possession. 
And he slides it quickly to Marchenko. Fires it with the stop. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Jenner's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Columbus goes to work in the offensive zone. Oh, what a chance! It puts it just wide. Well, and the puck was right in his wheelhouse. He only had a small margin and wasn't able to hit it. Moves the puck. They go on the attack through center. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Dishes it off. And they get it out. Time of the essence here. Yeah, they can't skate it. They got to move it to be able to gain entry quickly. McEwen's penalty is almost expired. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Allmark's been outstanding. Tracking Crocs and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. With possession along the wall. Oh, he'll feel that one. Grabs the puck at center. Now a quick pass to Jenner. That's a slash on that play, and the referee's all over it. Let's see what the officials say. Well, the coach is simply wanting an explanation as to why his team keeps getting penalized, and just a reasonable explanation. That's all it takes. It's composed, though. Columbus is set to go back to work on the power play. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Some solid defensive work in the roll in with the poke check. Picked off. Omar's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Johnson's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Blue Jackets win the faceoff. Good shot, frees the puck up. Blocked in front. Taken along the wall by Marchenko. And he gets in the lane to block that. Kovarov's got it into offensive territory. Puck scooped up by Marchenko. Great puck by Gujo. Stones him in front. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. The Blue Jackets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Quick pass over to Johnson. Back to the point, they set it up. Oh, the save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot. And that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Jenner's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And they win the defensive zone face-off. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Here's a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Here in the late going to the frame, we're still scoreless. Jenners won it in their own end. The Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. Monahan's got it against the boards. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back even strength. That's a great power play, James. The only thing they didn't do was score. And if they continue that, they'll certainly have success. Takes control of the puck. Gets it over to Fentilli. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering what a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. The 
Blue Jackets send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Paints it over! How did he stop that one? That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Ottawa's going to start with the puck in their own end. Still has possession. They move the puck out of harm's way. Sends it over. And it's a quick pass to Provorov. And he slides it quickly to Wierenski. Takes the pass. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. And they clear the defensive zone. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. The Senators gain control of the puck. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Moves it to Johnson. Here's the pass. He scores! What a play! We always talk about the goal scorer, but how about the player moving the puck here, James? I mean, incredible vision and a set of hands to hit the open player. The power players are about precision, execution, and skill, and they delivered on all three of those things. And the coach, you can see his face behind the bench. He's really pleased with this unit. The Blue Jackets finally get the game's first goal here in the late goings of this frame. What are they doing right here, Cheryl? Well, I think they're being aggressive, James. I mean, they've got that attack mentality. They're not sitting back, and now that they put one in, it's about staying the course. We'll need to get to this intermission and talk about continuing to push towards that end goal. Omar's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. The Blue Jackets have created a lot of scoring chances so far, and they lead it late in this first period. Ottawa's got possession here in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Patterson. The Blue Jackets gain control of it. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. And it looks like we've got ourselves an animated conversation with the coach and the official here. Well, you can certainly see that he is seething. James, I mean, the coach is so frustrated, but he's trying to maintain some emotional control here so he can have a pseudo conversation with the official. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. From the point, looks to make something happen. Columbus will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. A shot. Big save just as time runs out. Here's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. The Senators, penalty kills, get off to a good start, winning possession here. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And that goes off a body. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Tries to get the puck to Marchenko. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, a clutch save. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. And they continue to apply pressure here. Shuts them down. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. 
The Senators' PK unit delivers in a big way. They've had a great night on the PK. It doesn't get... Oh! And listen, they didn't get down when they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push and a nice play there to get the equalizer. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Here on the left wing, they came the zone. There's an injection of energy with that hit. The shooter's in a grade-A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. That opportunity is rejected. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we have a face off set to go. Columbus has it in their own end. And he keeps possession. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. Columbus has to be feeling good about their game right now here in period number two as they've gone ahead by one. Yeah, and it's not about playing safe anymore. It's about going after it, James. And it's an attack mentality. They've got the lead now. They've got to find a way to be first and urgent on the puck. Intercepted at center by Giroux. Tries to feed it over to Corrali. And he loses control of the puck. Tosses it to McEwen. Olivier is so effective in the O-zone. I mean, he knows how to put the puck to the net. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Columbus takes possession along the wall. Slides it over with pace to Harris. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. Carries it across the line. Jabs the puck away. Takes a shot. Oh! What a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. certainly tell that the coach is not happy behind the bench after that last goal. He'll be preaching good habits and details. He doesn't like it right now. 
The Blue Jackets talked about getting off to a good start at the morning skate, but Cheryl, this is next level what we're seeing. It really is. Through the first period into the second here, they just dominated. The puck has been on their stick, and when they're in the offensive zone, they're not just on the perimeter, they're finding ways to get pucks to the net. Made that stop. Allmark's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Here we go, on man rush here. Mazlikens has been really focused in the crease tonight. You can tell that he's tracking the puck with ease and comfort. But his team is playing really well in front of him as well. They're gaining confidence off of his saves and they're creating opportunities in the offensive zone. Some good stick work to lose that turnover. Shot! And that carries off a body in traffic. Receives the pass. The Senators are across the line and into the offensive end. Columbus has it in their own zone. He's got to stay! Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there! It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. And there's a glove save on the play. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Columbus has looked good offensively tonight, putting a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Johnson's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Dossels for the puck, but still hangs on. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Amadio. And that one flies over the net. Columbus gains a hold of it. Puck picked up by Yurichek. And he slides it quickly to Marchenko. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. From off the wall and onto a stick, the Senators take possession of the neutral zone. Drives to the paint, and he makes the save. And he takes the dish. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Takes the feed into the corner of the attacking area and forces a huge turnover here with the steal. The Senators have it against the wall. Pass to Giroux. And that's poked away. Columbus with possession in their own zone. Quick feed to Sillinger. Columbus gains the zone. And that's broken up. Point. Oh, close save by Omar. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. In the final moments of this period, been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3 1 is where we sit. The Senators win the draw. Sends the pass over. Dishes it to Gregor. The Senators are on the attack. Slides the puck down low. The Blue Jackets gain possession. Top over right onto the bench. That's a little awkward. A uh, real awkward, isn't it, James? You can see kind of the extra shots happening there. They get out of here. You got to pick yourself up and you got to make your way to your own bench. That's a tough one. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Here's a pass in front. And that doesn't connect. Too much congestion blocks the shot. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Columbus continues to lead late in the second period. They've had no short of the scoring chances tonight. And they win the offensive zone picks up. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Oh, this looks dangerous. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. Each fan receives a limited edition player's t-shirt. And fans, don't forget to purchase your player t-shirt tonight, only at our team store. Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the... Scores! Johnny Goudreau!
this goal, James. It's effort and skill all wrapped into one. He's stumbling. It almost looks like he's going to fall. But he uses that core athletic ability to hold on, find the puck, and get a shot off. That shot fools the goaltender. He's on the board. Columbus continues to punish the opposition here in period number three. And the coach has to love this. I mean, when you have a major league like this in the third period, you can look down at your bench and recognize that the lines can roll. And this gives confidence to everyone on the team, not to mention they're batting the stats. The Blue Jackets have the puck now. Picked up along the wall by Wierenski. Handles the pass. A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. Ottawa's been down and out all game, and they finally generate some offense, and it goes off the post. Such a frustrating night for them. Johnson's carrying it ahead. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. Slides the puck over. Now a quick pass to Sanderson. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Sanderson's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Into the attacking area from the left side. Quick shot! Oh, he gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Columbus has possession of the puck. Gets it over to Johnson. Here's a short pass to Urichuk. Play rolls on. Here's a shot. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Columbus continues to lead early in this third period. Big story tonight for them. Their offense came to play. Ottawa's got it in the defensive zone. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Dishes it to Amadio. Gives him a tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. Here comes the official's decision. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. set to resume this power play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Makes the save! Oh, and another big stop! Ottawa's got it in the wrong zone. Here's a shot! And that's off target as it hits a body. Oh, there's a hit! That's a great hit, James. He's got his head down. Unexpected hit there. Goes flying. Jenner's got control of the puck in the corner. Stops him with a glove. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. Greg's almost out of the box. Columbus has it near the wall. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. Oh, great move to sidestep the check. And a poke check knocks the puck away. From the center along the wing. Columbus has a number one line that is an offensive threat, and they're difficult to shut down against any opponent because of their motion in the offensive zone in particular. They produce, and they're a reason why this team is ahead. The Blue Jackets' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Picked up along the boards by Kovarov. His own end. Good solid check, and he loses control of it. Takes a bump, but hangs on to the puck. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. 
And it's a quick pass to Sillinger. Columbus plays the puck along the boards. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Drills him. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Great reach with the poke check by Yurichek. What a steal in his own end. Jackets have shown no signs of stopping putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third. Ottawa's won it, now they'll go on the attack. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Ottawa's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Goaltender covers it up, we get a whistle to slow things down. Well past the midway mark of this period, it's a 4-1 game. Monahan's won the draw inside his own end. Provorov stick handling in his own zone. Ottawa's ready to go on the attack. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Gets the puck over to Yurichek. Monahan's gaining momentum. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Excellent stick work on the play. Takes the feed. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. The Blue Jackets are getting penalized for slashing. The Senators get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Too much traffic in the lane. A center chance. And that shot's blocked. He grabs the puck here at the point. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. The Senators win it. Gets a piece of it with the chopper. Another stop by the goaltender. Quick feed down low. Strong defensive effort. Nice job to escape the zone. Ottawa's got the puck along the wall. Straight up the middle, here they come. Great hooks up play with the stick by Wierenski. Sends a pass over. Gets it out of his own end. And the puck's kicked free. The Senators don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Across the line. Moves it quickly over to Shinnok. Going with the stop. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. Takes possession off the draw. Columbus gets the man out of the box. Well, when you get the nod to hit, it, hit the ice on a power play, you want to execute at least 20% of the time, and all these players are heading back to the bench, and they're deflated. Columbus talked about putting a lot of pucks on net before this one. They delivered, and they have capitalized as well here late in this third. The Blue Jackets win the draw here in their own end. Cut into the club by Merzlikens. The Blue Jackets lead in late this third period. Ottawa's got it in the offensive zone. The shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Getting into the later stages of this period, Columbus is playing on another level tonight. They lead it 4-1. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. 
And a smart heads up play to put that away by Yurichik. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Feeds the puck over. Denies him! That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. The setters will glide into the dot. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Up along the wing. From the left side, takes the center. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Let's see what the officials are calling. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Great scoring chance. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Ottawa's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Ottawa's got the puck. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Quick pass to Craig. Ottawa's got the puck against the boards. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Dishes it off. Ottawa's trying to hold of the puck. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Moves it to Goudreau. Where'd that come from? And he puts it into his own net. Columbus has put on an offensive clinic here tonight, and they are on cruise control here in the third. Johnson's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Sean Big stop just as time expires in the period. The Blue Jackets aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. I don't think you can chalk up complacency at the other end of the ice. Cheryl, this was the response that everybody expected and anticipated. I mean, it's the playoffs, James. I mean, you got the best teams in the playoffs, and they want it. They're urgent. They knew they couldn't drop another game. So this was all about a timely response, and they answered the call. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, and we will see you next time from ringside.